All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, real quick, all right, I just wanted to do this video, all right, concerning, you know, a lot of you, uh, a lot of you niggas out there, okay, in the sense of, you know, when that time comes, because the scriptures say, all right, judgment is going to begin at the house of the Most High, all right, so for for those of you, all right, because I understand Jacob's trouble is for, you know what I mean, Jacob, but for those of you who, who starting off know you an Israelite, you know, but you're not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you're not 100% in this thing, you know, whether it's going from lukewarm to, to scoffing and scorning, all right, guess what, man, when that judgment of the Lord starts falling upon the earth, and if it starts putting fear in people, because it's not going to be just one person here dead, one person, no, when that judgment hits and you see the anger of the Lord, you niggas are going to run so fast, all right, it's not even going to be a joke, you know why, because judgment humbles pride, so what's going to happen is you're going to have all these proud ass niggas, all these prideful oh yeah i know this this doesn't really mean that this really means this this that all, all that guess where they're gonna go they're gonna run right back to where they left dudes that left gms gonna run they're gonna run faster than you same boats on the 55 meter right back there why because that that demon all right that demon covering their eyes you know for some of them it's gonna come off but that's gonna be when it's too late because that's what's gonna lead to that regret that's going to lead to that mental sorrow, like it says in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Okay? So guess what, man? They're going to realize, oh, shoot. We were we were really bugging out. And they're going to realize they, they, they had the truth the whole time. So what are they going to do? They're going to run right back there. Out of a last-minute attempt, okay, to, to, to try and uh, scramble. Like, like the scriptures talk about the, the foolish virgins. Where did the foolish virgins go? They went right to the to the wise, the wise virgins for some oil, right? And it's the same thing, man. All these people who think they know it all, all these people who who all this, that, and the third, and may, all this BS and madness going on. The Most High is looking at it all, man. The angels are recording it all. You're not gonna have a chance to say, "Oh, uh, I'm sorry," and no, 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 no. You had you had years. To say you were sorry. You had years to correct your mistakes. But because you had such demons on you, you didn't do it. So what's going to happen? You're going to scatter like roaches. Now, I got this video here just as an example. Because if you really watch this spiritually, you see how quick people are, all right, to dip. You know, whenever, whenever something hits, that fear sets in, people are gone. They don't care who's there. They don't care what's going on. They, they, out of fear, they're willing to do whatever it takes to survive. And you're going to see how they're going to go from 0 to 100 real quick. You know? Now, there's no sound in this video, but I'm going to just play it real quick. So right now, yeah, they, everybody's living it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And this, can, this is twofold because, uh, uh, like the scriptures say, uh, uh, um, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. You know? But but in, in regards to like those who know they're they're Israelites but they're going off and not doing what they're supposed to be doing, guess what, man? Right now they they they're comfortable because they, they think that oh yeah, I could keep scoffing, I could keep talking all my shit, blah 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 blah. So they're like this. Yeah, yeah, behind their behind their, their uh uh keyboards talking talking all that. You know what I mean? Doing stupid ass videos when all they all they know how to do is just talk bad about people who they were once with. They forget they don't know how to they don't know about the mark of the beast anymore. You know? They don't prophesy about none of that no more. They don't even prophesy. You know? They just hate. So guess what? You see them, they they oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're behind their keyboards. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. But wait, wait till that judgment comes. So yeah, everybody's all good. Everybody's chilling. Mm-hmm. Yep. Boom. Oh, 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 sh oh, shoot. Where they at? Where they at? Why, why they not standing there? Why they not staying upon, upon their, their, their post, continuing in their madness? 
You know? Now, guess what, man? When that judgment hits, when the Lord starts killing people and judging people, dude, niggas are going to run faster than this. You see how quick these people dip, you know, when they heard that gunshot? Look, look, look at that. Woo! Oh, she was, oh, look at that. Damn, she was, yeah, he said, forget that. My son grabbed the, the, the baby. Oh, look at that, look at that. You know? Because that's what's going to happen, man. They're going to be scrambling. Looking, looking for 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 answers, looking for a, a, a safety, you know. And guess where a lot of you niggas who are scoffing and scorning are gonna go? They're go, you're gonna run right back to those who you learn from, hoping that you can get some oil, just like the scriptures say about the foolish virgins. You're gonna run right back to them because what you're gonna see, like the scriptures say, then shall they be known who are my chosen. You're gonna see who the Lord is dealing with. And you and just as fast as these people ran, you guys are gonna run just as fast. Right back to those men you learn from. Those who have the truth. Okay? Which start with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Alright, on down to the men teaching the same the same doctrine. You're going to run right back. But guess what? The same story about, which I'm going to get the scriptures in a few. The same story about the, the virgins. What happened? They didn't get no oil from the wise virgins. So, this is Second Peter chapter 3 verse 3. Knowing this first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lusts. All right? They're walking after their own lusts. And saying, because guess what, man? Instead of instead of remaining spiritual, let's say just a re regular example, you get kicked out of a camp, you know? And instead of remaining spiritual, all right, and, and understanding that, cool, even though you might be in the right situation or you might be wrong, whatever it may be, all right, you keep pushing. And if you're right, the Lord will justify you. But guess what, man? For you to forget about the most high, you know, like the elders say, you throw out the 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 the, the, the baby and the bath water and, and 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 you know what I'm saying, the sink and, and everything in there. You know? You you throw it all out. So instead of continuing to prophesy because you claim to be a prophet, right? So whether you you're with a camp or not, you have to do what you claim to be. You have to you're a prophet. You're supposed to prophesy. But their lust, their flesh all right, because of being hurt, all right, their flesh doesn't allow them to, to remain spiritual and keep on prophesying. So what? They 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 walk after their own lusts, talking shit. It says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the from the creation. So now they don't believe anymore. You know? Oh, I thought you said how I was coming. Well, it's been it's been this many years, ain't nothing happened. You know. That means that you're wrong about this, you're wrong about that, you're wrong about this. So in, when they're in that mindset, they're not expecting. That's why it says the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Because now they're not on their watch anymore. The only thing they're watching for is for you to slip up so they can talk shit about you. Okay? And that's why, because they're not in that state of watching, when shit hits the fan, they're going to be just like this. Gone. Gone with the wind. Look at that, look at that. Old dudes, young women, old, everybody gone. Okay? That's his first Peter chapter 4, verse 17. It says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Okay? So for those of us who are, who are, who are pushing this word in sincerity, for those of you who are being lukewarm, for those of you who know you, who know the truth, and you did not obey the gospel of the Most High, on down to them wicked Israelites out there. Okay? Judgment is going to begin, man. And when that divine judgment hits this earth, all right, when you see the fierce anger of the Lord, everybody's going to be humbled. Everybody's going to be humbled, man. And you're, you're going to pray, you're going to hope, you're going to beg, you're going to weep, you're going to cry, you're going to mourn, and you're going to hope and wish that you had listened. That he, that you had, that you had continued in what you had learned, that you had been humble, that instead of being being a nigger, you had prayed for forgiveness and repented. You see, a lot of people forget that 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 feeling of regret is what's gonna kill a lot of people too, man. Because as you're you're going through all this hell, you're gonna know in your mind that damn, you know, like it says in Wisdom of Solomon, they we erred not knowing the truth, you know. And we mock the messengers of the Most High. Yo, you, you all that is going to set in. You were so close to, to, to being able to escape the, 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 these judgments and things that are hidden in the earth. 
You know? You were with you were with the, the, the men of the Lord. And what happened? You turned around, started talking that shit. Now you're trying to run back and it's not gonna work. You know? You're trying to run back and the Lord's like, no, 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 no. The gates are closed. I'm sorry. We, and we, go, we ain't go, we gonna tell you we ain't got nothing for you. We ain't got nothing for you. Because we're not gonna save ourselves. Lord willing, we're of the elect. The Most High is gonna, he's gonna deliver us. So regardless of where you are, what you're trying to do and all this, that no, we, we can't do anything for you. All right? And when that hope, when that hope of, Yo, let me let me see if, let me see if I yo yo let me find the elders or or, or the brothers in, in this camp or whatever and yo yo let me beg for forgiveness and hopefully you know they can they can they can uh, uh help me out real quick because yo this shit is crazy. We, and and when you when you do that, and then you get there and that little hope of 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 maybe repenting at that last minute, if you're not of the elect and you get there, guess what? The answer is gonna be no. We ain't got nothing for you. And when that hope is crushed. And you turn behind you and you see that judgment and it's coming for you and you have nowhere else to go. You're gonna you're gonna understand it perfectly, man. Everything is gonna make sense. You know? See, what, what a lot of people, man, when you tell them this word, when you tell them the truth and they don't take heed, they don't listen, they curse you out, they talk shit. That very moment, they're marked. And when all hell breaks through, they're gonna remember that very moment. You're gonna remember when you when you insulted your elders, when you when you came at those who taught you, when you when you uh talk shit, when you walked past the camp and you didn't even stop to to see what what the uh, brothers were saying. Yeah, you're gonna have those flashbacks, and it's gonna make sense because then them demons are gonna hop off of you. They're gonna leave you out there for the wolves. The demons that blinded you, they're gonna they're gonna jump right off, and you're gonna realize. That's why it says they're gonna repent and groaning for anguish of spirit because they're gonna be like, damn. Now they're going to see it, but it's too late. You're going to see it, but you can't do anything about it. You're going to see the right path now, but you can't walk it. It's done. Okay? It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? It says, wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. And that's what we do. All right? We stick to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Regardless of what happens, we don't get sidetracked. Okay? We continue, all right, in faith. Okay, so this is Matthew chapter 25, verse um, 1. That is the parable the Lord gave about the foolish virgins, the foolish and the wise, the wise virgins. It says, And, what, and uh, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. All right. It says, and really the kingdom also begins with, with the deliverance. All right. From, 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 uh, 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 from Babylon. All right. America. Okay. So it says, and, and, and five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. All right. While the bridegroom tarried, and that oil represents the truth. Okay, so all the, the the foolish virgins were like, you know what? Forget all that. I'm throwing all that out. I don't. I'm not, I'm not taking no truth. I'm not taking none of that. Oh, they didn't have no oil. But we'll see how that turned out for them. But the wise took oil in their vessels in their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Okay, so right now, right the Yahushai, that though Yahushai is on his way, he's not here yet. All right. We're doing what we got to do, okay? And they're doing what they want to do, okay? So it says, um, And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. And then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. You see? So, when the outside makes his return, okay, low will and rough that he like, we're going to be good. When all hell starts breaking loose, we're going to be good. But the foolish virgins, they're going to they're going to realize, "Oh, nah. We ain't got it. We ain't got it cuz we're not being delivered over talking shit. We're not de being delivered because we're scoffing. The Lord didn't say, "Go ye out and scoff to, to scoff about all them niggas that did you wrong." You know, and I'll give you a reward or a crown of life. That's not what he said. Okay? So, guess what? 
when the foolish virgins realized they didn't have the oil, who did they turn to? They turned to the because they were all they were all virgins, but they turned to the other five who were wise because they realized, yeah, they do have the oil after all. But guess what? It says here, but the wise answer because they get knowledge. Yeah, they, their lamps are gone out. They ain't got no oil. They can acknowledge that. It says, but the wise answer. Oh, and and uh, like the apostle Ramlab did a video, you know, about uh, uh, the brother that had a vision. Okay, about Nate, and and in the vision. He said, uh, 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 um, basically, Nate and, and, and uh, that brother who had the vision with a couple of GMS brothers, you know, Nate told him, you know, I mean, they were walking with him, basically, you know, and, and, and uh, his countenance was, he had a very sad countenance, you know, and if I, if, I, if, I, if I remember correctly, he said that Nate kept saying, I'm sorry, you know, because he, and, and, and a lot of people are going to be in that state because it's pride, it's the pride that's not allowing them to, 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 to repent. It's not allowing them to acknowledge, all right, the true men of the Lord. It's not allow, allowing them to come back and push the, the, the true doctrine of the Lord. Is that pride. But what humbles pride? Fear. All right? P fear makes you humble. Okay? So when the Lord starts judging and fear comes upon these people, the pride is going to go out the window and they're going to see clearly. Yeah, I can see clearly now. They're going to see clearly. You know? But it's going to be too late. So it says, um, but the wise answered, saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went, went in with him in, uh, to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, verily I say unto you, I know you not. Okay? Those are devastating words, man. Those are where your deliverer, the one you look forward to, tells you he doesn't know you. You know, your only hope tells you, nah, I'm not here for you. What do you do then? Where do you turn to? You know? Really think about that, man. So all that, all that shit you were talking, all that wickedness you were committing, you know, talking shit about the Lord and all that, when that time comes, everybody's going to see him. We're all going to see how we shy. And for those of you who are talking shit, you're going to believe in that day. But it's going to be sad because you're not going to be accepted. The Lord ain't going to, the Lord is not going to deliver you. He's going to point, he's going to point you at your judgment, you know? And you're going to see the, the same men that you might have been in a camp with, the same men you might have learned from, the same men you turned around and insulted, you know? You're going to see them getting delivered, and you're not. And that's going to be one of the worst things you can, you can, you can go through, man. Because you're going to see them, and, and you're going to remember everything. Oh, that means that I'm not of the elect. That means they were of the elect. That means I, 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 I hurt the Lord's, I offended the Lord's little ones. I offended the Lord. I talk shit. And that means that I'm not, ain't no way I'm getting delivered right now. I have to go through this judgment. That's that's what's going to resonate in your mind. You can understand it fully. All right? It's not going to be a joke, man. Everything is a joke until until judgment starts 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 hitting, man. Everything is a joke until judgment starts hitting. Okay? Listen, man, the Lord ain't man. Man can be very very angry at you, but depend like they could see you in in in, in some horrible horrible case. You know, and and some part of some part of, of of you being human, you'll feel bad for the person. You know, you still you know what I mean you still feel like damn, like that's damn that's crazy, you know. But guess what? The Most High ain't like that, man. The Most High is not like that. The Most High, when he when he brings that judgment, if you're set for death, ain't gonna be no damn, damn. I, I feel bad. Hold on. No 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 no. Because if you're not of the Lord's elect, he doesn't have that feeling for you right now. Okay, you're just a target. <laughs> All right, a target set for judgment. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on to the next precept. This is Amos chapter eight verse eleven. Behold, the days come, see if the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right, so that famine is gonna come. We're not gonna go and be going out there prophesying anymore. 
we're not going to be doing these videos anymore because the Lord is going to shut all that down. Why? Because his elect are going to be sealed. It says what? And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Guess what? This is coming for you scoffers too. All right? Not just not just people in the world who did you scoffers too. You're gonna you're gonna be running from CDC looking for the word of the Lord. You're, you're gonna be looking for the men of the Lord, and you're not gonna find it. Just like those those foolish virgins, what? They were told, Go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And what happened? And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. So by the time they came back, hey, it was nothing for them, man. This is gonna happen to you too, man. It says, "In that day shall the fair virgins faint, and the young, shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst." All right, and yeah, I think that's 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 it on that part. Okay, and I get this last precept. This is Amos chapter five, verse nineteen, because this is what's gonna this day, man. <laughs> when you're in this situation, man, you're gonna know that you ain't got no hope left. It says, "As if a man," um, I started uh, Amos five and eighteen. What unto you that desire the day of the Lord? To one to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Now, this is referring unto the wicked. Okay? It says, As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into, into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. All right? And that represents no no escape. All right? No rest, no nothing. You run from one 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 uh, 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 dangerous situation right into another dangerous situation, and you back up from that dangerous situation right into another one. So there's no escape. There's no way out. You know? You're going to be trapped by judgment all around you. And like I said, man, if you're not of the elect, okay, you're going to go through this and you're not going to make it out. Okay? You're not going to make it out, man. And you're going to run and run and run and cry and plead and beg and it's not. It's going to be to no avail. Even, even if a brother felt, felt sorrowful, we couldn't do nothing for you, okay? We couldn't do anything for you. Why? Because the judgment isn't coming from us. It's coming from the Most High. And guess what? You see, you can disrespect us. You can talk your shit. You can disrespect us. But guess what, man? Even if, if we were like, you know what? Yes, whatever. Most High doesn't take it that way, okay? He doesn't take it that way because the scriptures say... um, Luke 10 and 16. It says, He that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. So guess what? You might talk shit about us, but you're not understanding that the Most High doesn't take that lightly because number one, you're, 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 you're offending his little ones. Number two, you're really talking shit about his son, Yahweh Shai, and you're talking shit about the Most High himself. Okay? So, like we said, we're just the mouthpiece, man. And because you're not spiritual, you just see us, and you just say, oh, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Not seeing the bigger picture. Not seeing where the message is coming from. All you're seeing is the fact that it's being delivered by... Yeah, that's like getting mad at the mailman because you got a mail from the IRS. All the mailman did was deliver the mail. You, why are you mad at him? He didn't. He didn't write the mail. He just delivered it. You know. <laughs> so guess what, man? That time is coming, man. That time is fast approaching. You know, all hell is about to break loose on this earth, and it's gonna be unlike anything anybody has ever seen before. And for the, for us in this truth, man. Hey, brothers, st uh, stay in this truth, man. Stay in this faith. All right. It's gonna be worth it, man. At this point, you really should have no doubt in your mind. Uh, well, why are you in this thing you know and and if you have no doubt you should be going uh, 100 percent for this because man when you when you're able to eat when everybody else is starving when you're able to, when you're so protected and safe that you're able to rejoice and laugh when everybody else is mourning and scared you're gonna understand you, you man you're gonna be so grateful all right you're gonna you're gonna thank you how about shimmy outside with all your heart okay because you're gonna understand that at, you you could you could have been, you know, one of his one of those who 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 are of the two thirds. All right, but because of the spirit, the Holy Spirit of the Lord, He kept you, 
And that's what we always pray for, man, for the most high to keep his Holy Spirit upon us. Okay? So with that, I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, this is edified unto the elect, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.